everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Spring with Spring Soulful Home and I enjoy making videos such as homemaking, cooking clean, and my favorite of all is DIY party planning. So if you enjoy those types of videos, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. This video is my first fall decorate with me of 2022. I'm super excited and because it is an early fall decorating video, I'm not incorporating a lot of pumpkins. I am using two pumpkins um, on my fireplace mantle and that's pretty much it. But in today's video, I'm decorating my entryway and my sitting area and I'm incorporating a couple of things that are copper colored, amber glass and some yellows and browns and keeping things a little bit more neutral, not so heavy on the fall decor. So I hope you enjoy today's video. Do you have your bell notifications turned on? I still have to decorate my dining room and kitchen and my living room, and I have much more fall content coming your way. So be sure your bell notifications are turned all the way on. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm just gonna be using these two pumpkins for today's video. And this other glass one, I bought it a couple years back at Big Lock, and this one my daughter bought for me at Marshall's. So I just want to put these on my mantle. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you an overview of everything I'll be decorating with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started since I'm sitting right here and just show you a couple of the pieces that I'll be using. Some of the pieces I'll be using, I have just bought them last year or maybe I've had them for quite a while, um, but these, faux leaves. I think they're the perfect touch for early fall decor. It's not too intensified, but definitely just giving that feeling that fall is definitely around the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and use these, and I did buy these from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I have this wood plank. I bought this from Hobby Lobby last year. I used it um, as a charcuterie board for my daughter's bridal shower. And I will link that video up in the cards if you'd like to see what I did on that video. But I just think this is a really nice piece to anchor some decor on. And it definitely reminds me of fall. So I'm going to use this as well. And then this, I bought from Target a few years back. And it has kind of like a copper, like the handle and then the rim right here. And then this one, I love this amber jar or amber base. I did buy it from Target and it is really cute. It's new this year. And then I have these amber colored candle holders. I did buy these last year from Hobby Lobby. They're super cute. And this painting here, a friend of ours painted this um, and I love to bring it out during the fall time. Just all of the browns and the yellow colors just reminds me of fall. So I like to bring this out during the fall time. And then I thrifted these books last year. I'm gonna be using these. I just took the covers off of them. Um, now when I'm looking for books at a secondhand store, I like to peek under the book covers just to see what color the actual book is and the browns and the ivory color definitely go along with the fall season. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold the camera at this point. Um, just, you can see everything a lot better but these are the items that I'm using. Again, I'm just sticking to early fall colors. I don't want anything too orange um, since I'm gonna be decorating early for fall. This is new. It's from the Target dollar spot. I think it was $3. And then I got these two vases. They're like a light brown, almost like a yellowish color. I got them from Walmart. They have this new kind of like a dollar section. So I got this one from Walmart. It was $3. And this one was five. I got that a couple weeks back. And then this one, I've had this for a while. I love it. I think it's like a quail, but I bought it at a really neat antique store. And then this squirrel, I bought it last year from Target. And this was from Hobby Lobby. And this dish, I thrifted it a few years back. And then these are the faux greenery that I'm gonna be using. And these pompous grass picks, I bought them from Hobby Lobby last year. I used them for my daughter's bridal shower as well and then these I'm pretty sure I bought them from Hobby Lobby they're super cute I love the brown and the yellow perfect for early fall decorating and then these picks I'm 
pretty sure I bought them from Target maybe a couple years back. This faux greenery bush, I bought it from Hobby Lobby quite a few years back. And these uh, corn husk bushes, I love them. I think I've had them, this might be my second or third year, but I love them. It's perfect for decorating early for fall. I've used them in many different areas, such as like on my tablescape or my fireplace. Um, so I really love them. These fall bushes, I bought them last year from Hobby Lobby and I love all of the natural elements, all of the, it's just really pretty faux greenery. These fall stems, they're super pretty. They are very long. Uh, last year I did put them in a vase on my fireplace. I'm gonna use them on my fireplace this year, but just not in a vase. And then these, these are a little bit darker. Bought them from Hobby Lobby last year and I love the color of them. I'm actually going to use them in the same place this year as I did last year. And then I have these as well. I bought these from Hobby Lobby. I think they pretty much tend to sell these almost every year, but I've had them for a while, so I'm going to use those. And then the last thing that I'm going to be using, um, I made these pillowcases for my pillows. I want to say about three or four years ago and this is just um, an everyday fabric that Hobby Lobby carries but I did notice it's very popular this year this type of fabric so I'm gonna put these on my pillows I tend to make pillowcases just so that way I don't have to buy a lot of pillows doesn't mean that I don't ever buy throw pillows but I do like to make my own pillowcases from time to time and I've already taken down my summer decor everything is a lot more um like my white and clear glass my greenery i did take this down. i'm going to show you right now what everything looks like just took down all of the summer decor and i left up some of my like staple pieces my candle holders the other decor there and just cleared everything off and here on my here on our dresser as well I've cleared that off I just need to wipe it down I did find one bottle of Miss Meyers um, apple cider cleaner so I'm gonna use that and then I showed this mirror when I did my master bedroom declutter now I bought this mirror on clearance at Hobby Lobby it is super beautiful it's almost a full length body mirror and it's a very heavy piece but I'm gonna put it up on top of my mantle. I had put it up there earlier. I just wanted to see what it looked like and it looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna have my daughter help me put that up there. But I wanna show you this. I got this um, when they had the 75% off clearance quite a few months back, but the normal price is $2.99. And I used to work at Hobby Lobby. Um, the clearance price was $74.99. So I got it for like under $70. So quite a good price but that's what I'll be putting up here so I'm gonna go ahead and I've already cleaned off my mirror it's kind of dusty and I'm gonna clean off up here So the first thing that I'm going to be decorating today will be this dresser which I also use as our entryway table and I painted it last year the green color here and I absolutely love it and I'm using these copper colored um, stems. I also placed these here last year as well and I tried to get away with not putting these here this year but really I loved the way this copper color um, leaf looked alongside my green dresser it just looks so pretty and I kept it pretty minimal I just added in an acorn and a candy dish I ran out of time and didn't get to go to the store and fill it with candy before I finished um, filming but I'll fill it up later but anyway I just wanted to keep it pretty simple here and then moving on to our pillows I'm just taking out the pillow covers that I had on for my summer decor and guys 
for in order for me to like save a little bit of money what I like to do is just reuse certain pillows like these lumbar pillows I bought them um, from Walmart a couple years back and as you can see they're like a spring color so I usually um, take them out during spring but I also like to use different pillowcases to change out during the seasons it definitely helps me um, save some money but I also really enjoy making my own pillowcases so as you can see here that's just what I'm doing I'm just switching these out and then later on I found some dark brown pillowcases that I had or pillow covers so I just grabbed some other pillows that I had for another season and I added those in as well between the two chairs I'm adding in the books that I thrifted last year and then I found this really cute little acorn in the Target dollar section I thought it was so cute and once I looked at all the decor that I wanted to use to decorate in our sitting area I thought this little acorn will be perfect for um, for this table and to put on top of the book so it was just like scaled perfectly for that table and then moving on to our shelves I did keep in a few of my staple pieces meaning like pieces that I like to keep out regularly that I just like to add in seasonal decor to so I'm using the vase that I found at Walmart and then I'm just adding in the faux pompous picks um, here to the top just to kind of balance it out now if you'll notice here I'm adding Adding in my greenery kind of like in a I guess you could say like a zigzag um, shape and then for the second shelf I used the mustard yellow picks just to add in some color because on the second shelf I just have some white decor in there so I wanted to tie in the color and then or to tie in some fall colors and then on the last shelf I'm just adding in a few different decor pieces another vase with some greenery and then I'm just trying to figure out which of these um, the little figurines that I liked if I like the quail or the squirrel I ended up going with the squirrel I felt like it went very well with the shape and scale especially for the decor that I had down here on this last shelf and then I'm adding in that beautiful painting that a friend painted and again as I mentioned earlier I just love the colors and that painting just reminds me of fall and I really am pleased with the way my shelves came out just just kind of like balancing out all the different colors and fall throughout each and every one of the shelves.
then here on top of our piano, I'm just going to wipe it down. Um, my furniture wasn't dust very dusty, however, I did want to use the new apple cider cleaner that I did purchase from Target. I love the scent of the Miss Myers um, cleaners. It just always puts me in a nice like fall mood or whether it be Christmas, whatever season I'm cleaning for. And then I'm just placing back the runner that I have here and then I'll be adding in the, um, the wood piece that I bought from Hobby Lobby just again to anchor these few decor pieces and just using the amber colored the vase and then the candle holders and I do add in some greenery and another little decorative element looks really pretty right as you walk in our front door to see um, these amber colored decor pieces Now moving on to one of my most anticipated areas that I wanted to decorate for fall here in our home and it's our fireplace mantle and I was like just so excited to decorate this area because I added in the mirror and I really love the way this looks so I'm starting off by using these leaf stems now I did end up using some clear duct tape to hold down the greenery because just when I'm decorating without something else being on the shelf it is a little bit difficult for like the greenery to hold like to um, stay put on the mantle so I did use some tape just so that way the greenery would not fall forward so what I like to do when I'm decorating with like if it's faux flowers or just making some type of like a floral arrangement I like to keep everything as symmetrical as possible and basically whatever I do to one side I like to do to the other and then the other thing that I think really helps to give shape to any floral arrangement is by adding in different colors and textures and definitely layering um, different um, like different floral arrangements different textures I think it just really adds a really nice pretty touch and I really love the way this um, arrangement came out here on our fireplace it just really looks so pretty and I'm I just couldn't be happier with it So once I'm almost done with the flower arrangement, I like to kind of tuck in each and every one of the um, 
the florals like if whether it be a floral bush or stems whatever but I like to start bringing them in closer together so that way it will conceal the stems like the green part of the bush or the florals and so what I'm also doing is using some of the little yellow flowered um, bushes and I'm just putting that in the center to conceal the green part of the floral so you don't see that so that's what I'm doing here and then once I'm all done I'm going to add in my two glass pumpkins um, I just again you guys as I mentioned before I just could not be any more happier with this this just looks so pretty and once the fall season starts coming in a little bit more I will be adding some twinkle lights into this it's just always so neat during like the fall season or even the winter season you know to have some twinkle lights on in your fireplace it just gives such a beautiful ambiance so as I mentioned I will be adding in like some fairy lights into this as the season as we get further into the fall season. area that I'm decorating for today will be this small area here I've mentioned this before that I like to add in like a basket or florals to match each of the seasons so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm just adding in one of my favorite fall scarves I'm sure I will take this off of my welcome sign once it gets cooler here in New Mexico um, but yeah I'm just adding that in and then I have this other scarf and I thought I would add this in here to my basket it just to again tie in the fall colors I thought that looked really cute there
right, my sweet friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for your support. It always means so much. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. It greatly helps support my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and it gave you some inspiration. But be sure your bell notifications are turned on so you'll be notified when I upload my next fall decorating video. Have a wonderful, blessed day. We'll see you, friends. Bye-bye.